do fire me. Do fire me because Guy Fieri is copyrighted. Hi. Hi. Um, hello. Oh wait, is that okay? So my name is Derek Maddock, and oh, sorry, Derek Maddock. It's my full name for those who don't know. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm a first year, planning to get a minor in mathematics, and uh, yeah. So basically, I'm running for secretary. This is a position that I actually kind of look forward to doing. So unlike a lot of the previous uh, positions, secretary is, in my eyes, and from what I've researched and asked, like a bunch of people in the club, secretary is a more officer-centered role, you're more over like helping everyone organize things, you're helping with planning and all that stuff. So obviously that doesn't out, that doesn't reach out to members more, but I'll get onto that later on. So personally, I feel like a secretary should see themselves as the most, like as a mediator in the group, they should be trying to organize everything, keep everything, keep everyone together, together as one. And basically they're trying to organize everything so things go smoothly. So. Um, I'm gonna answer your question just like right off the bat. As a secretary, I don't want to. You wouldn't want anyone to step on your toes, but they're gonna get stepped on. And you know, if you just don't, everyone takes it to heart in the sense that they keep what they said in mind as like helpful criticism. You don't take the you don't take the salt with it. So that's on the officer side. Um, as for moreover for the members, I want to possibly just work with the. Uh, work with PR more, and maybe release a lot, not a lot more information in that sense, but keep members continuously updated in that sense, in terms of like schedule for PCN or for Friendship Games, or just like what's coming up in the next meeting, what to expect, uh, to incite more people to come to the next meeting uh, a few days beforehand, or just get people excited. Um, as for experience, I have, I've been in like three clubs in my high school. I started both of them. I, I was vice president for both of them and secretary for the third one. So I became president of, I don't wanna say the name, it's embarrassing, but basically, like a gamers club. So basically, it was like a one man, it was like a one man office. I had to deal with getting everyone together, coming up with meeting dates, coming up with like plans and all that stuff, so I have, and then, like in, in the other clubs that I created, I was secretary and treasurer, treasurer of Commonwealth secretary because our secretary left. Um, I've, I've had to deal with planning and talking to a bunch of people just to get things rolling, just to keep things moving forward. So I believe I have some experience in that sense. Oh, and why I want to be secretary. Uh, this club did a lot for me, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so in high school, when I'm planning out like my college classes, I told my parents, yeah, I'm graduating like, three and a half years, you know, early graduate. But I never took in, I never like even thought of the idea that I'd like a club or like I'd just do some extracurricular activities. This club makes me want to graduate in four years instead of three and a half. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, parents don't like it, but eh, whatever. And this club, I, I remember a lot of happy memories. Like a lot of my college memories is probably gonna be this club. And I just love the officers who reach out. Like on the first day, Kiko hugged me. I was crazy. I didn't, I never felt really touched before that. <laughs> and then, out of the blue, our, before he wasn't in office, but he's now our VC, Alex was one of the first people to reach out to me and like kind of connect with me and like just talk to me all the time. He's partly, him and Nico are probably the reason why I love Filipino Club so much. And I want to be able to do that for new members, not just even as an officer, like just as a member of this club. And I feel like being an officer will help me, you know, sort of do that. So, yeah. All right, my speech is over. Woo! Yay! Uh, just one question for you. So, I know you're going to be taking pretty hard classes next semester. And being able to, I wouldn't say no to you, but is it more of like manage your time, manage when you're going to study, manage what you're going to do? office stuff, event stuff, and all that together, would you be able to handle that type of stress? So anyone who knows me this semester knows that I have been thoroughly stressed out. But that's because I came to college with like a gung-ho, like high school attitude, like, you know, this isn't hard, it's nothing, it, it was hard. So going into next year, I actually have that in mind. 
I actually plan to actually divide up my time a bit better. Like, everything's a learning experience. Um, like, failure is experience, experience is experience. And, you know, it's just, in terms of dividing up my time, actually next semester, uh, I'm taking like poli-sci too, but it's online. And that's actually an anticipation for this, so that I have like freedom throughout almost all my days. Actually on Monday, like Wednesday, I come to class at four, so I have a lot of time. I have a class at four, maybe. <laughs> so you mentioned you mentioned how you told your parents that you were going to graduate in three years, in three years and um, there would be a little bump that you would graduate before if you were in the UK. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, do you have a lot of parental restrictions um, when it comes to social visas at Oxford? Yeah, so a lot of people who know me also know this. Uh, yeah, I have like parents looking over me. I live with my parents because because they live in Brazil and stuff. But yeah, it's it's. Um, I've already spoken to my parents about me being in office. I've already spoken to them about me being in college longer, and they don't like it. But like they also, well, my dad also understands that you know you're you're here for an experience, not just an education. Like yeah, you're here to get your degree, but you also want to have fun all the way, you don't want to just like brain dead studying in the library all the time, they get that. And I'm, my parents are starting to understand that, you know, I'm at, a, I'm at an age where they can actually kind of trust me to do my job. So, kind of. Yeah, yeah like, same way for me. <laughs> I believe next year is a great way to show everyone around me that I can handle this. Because I'm pretty sure I can. As a secretary, uh, a big part of your job is being like basically the backbone for the entire like cabinet in a way, by keeping them organized and making sure everyone does their job correctly and properly. How will you be able to handle a scenario where there's an officer who can't really do that, or is very inconsistent, or just can't really like do too well? How, how do you think you'd be able to handle a scenario like that? So. Obviously, it's not very black and white. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, it's all right. They can say it's an officer, like, oh yeah, I'll kick them out. Inefficient, you're gone. Like, snapped, out of the system. No, well, I'm gonna talk to them. You wanna talk to your officers around you. As Nico said, Nico said like the officer is a support group. We are a support group. If you're not talking to me, I'm gonna like encourage you. I'll be like, oh, do you have anything to like talk about? And you know, just communication between the officers. If, if they can't do a job, or if they're like swamped for that week, I'll, I'll be more than willing to pick up on their tasks and help them out until they can get back on their feet. No, that's my name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, no, we have one more question. We have one more question. I asked this because uh, I was a secretary two years ago, so I wanted to ask you. Um, when you're in the cabinet, and I already talked about how sometimes you don't see eye to eye, um, sometimes it comes down to the secretary to kind of squash the bug. Um, are you, how are you able to mediate a issue amongst two other cabinet members? Obviously, you know, you talk to both of them, see what, see what's happening uh, on both sides, what they want. If they butt heads a lot, you kind of, you kind of bring in other people. I guess, like, not, not, not like bringing the other officer members, unless it's not their business, obviously, but like, if it's something to do with the club, it's like the whole office's business. Like, it's not like, oh, this is only a treasurer's job. No, if, if, you're, if you're having a problem, then you should tell all the other officers. So, I get that, like, it's up to me to kind of like squash, you know, the bug, like, why people are butting heads and whatnot. The best idea is just mediation, trying to see eye to eye and then trying to just think what's best for the club instead of what's best for which officer. Thanks. Thank you.